Is it just me, or does Reillusion feel like they are always making new stuff? From character creator to iClone and even cartoon creator. It feels like with every update there is new stuff, and it is really difficult sometimes to keep track of all the old and the new stuff in a good way. And here it is no different. Reillusion Accurig is not a new service, but I think it is one that is not getting enough love. The software allows you to fully rig any character with a ton of precisions and adjustments. And by the way, AccuRig is a free software from Real Illusions Actor Core that can create advanced rigging in just 5 simple steps. From high to low density and multi-mesh models, a pose, t-pose or even irregular models where the hands and feet are already in pose. As long as you can position the control points correctly, AccuRig can help you correct the rotation and generate accurate armature. To start using AccuRig, you first need to download and install it from the Actor Core website. Once you do that, you are ready to start the rigging. One look at the interface, you can see the steps on the left starting with, of course, import or load your character, and that's what you will need to do. You will be surprised how much AccuRig can handle. A character straight out of ZBrush with hundreds of thousands of vertices can run smoothly, I mean inside the software. It also supports multiple poses, as you can see at the bottom right here. You also have T-Pose and A-Pose of course, but there is also Multi-Mesh, where the character is holding an object or wearing a belt and so on. And even characters that are holding something in front of them, like this mother holding her child. You can either drag and drop your character here, or choose manually from a file. And there is an option to search for models on Sketchfab. Once you select a character, you move to the Check Models tab, and here you can center and orient your model using X, Y, and Z controllers to check the center line of your character. And you can do that usually by picking the middle of the hips even if the face isn't perfectly aligned. Next is the Rigging step. Here the software will run through and estimate all the joint positions. You can come through and adjust all the joint positions manually and each joint you hover over, you will get a preview on the top right to exactly where that joint should be. So follow the reference and place each joint in its correct position. If you notice, you can click and move the mouse to rotate in the preview, and these points can be manipulated in 3D, which is something you don't see in similar software like Mixamo, where you can only adjust the joints in the front view. Next is the hand rig where you can get to choose the number of fingers. So if you are creating a cartoony character with less than 5 fingers, you can select the number from the drop down menu. And here I have a realistic character. So I'm gonna keep it on 5. Again, the software will zoom in on the hand and estimate the joint position. It does a great job, but you can come through and correct everything especially the thumb where you can specify the rotation of the thumb and try to align it as best as possible. Next, you can move to the left hand. If your character is perfectly symmetrical, you can just copy the placement of the joint from the right to the left. But if not, you can of course adjust everything manually on the other side as well. In addition, you can generate a rig and preview the animation. There are a dozen full body poses. You have hand and full body animations that will help you check if your rig is working properly. Now, as far as a 2 minute rigging process goes, it is honestly really, really good. I'm sure a lot of people will find this useful, especially artists who work in ArcViz or game development and maybe even VFX artists. This kind of rigging is decent. The white painting is surprisingly accurate down to the individual fingers. But of course, this will work more for visualization and debugging your character to be used for the background and distant crowds. For game ready characters, you will need more work on the rig, but for the most part, and for most people, this can be really helpful considering it is free, which is a very important point. And by the way, you can export the character at any time to FBX, USD, or iAvatar for iClone 8. Not to mention it supports all major 3D pipelines because of the diverse range of export formats ensuring actor rigs compatibility with all major 3D platforms, including Unreal Engine, Unity, Blender, Omniverse in addition to others. 
But there is something we didn't talk about, which is characters with extra meshes, like a character that is holding a sword or a gun. In this case, that's where masking comes in. Masking a joint will exclude it from the skin's weight when the bones are generated. Let's say your character is holding a sword. You wouldn't want the sword to bend or deform when the character moves. The way we're gonna tell Accurig not to treat these meshes as deformed joints, like arms or fingers, is by tagging those joints as masked. So when you get the body rig step where you can adjust the joint position, select any joints that you wanna mask and check the mask checkbox on the right. You will see clearly those joints turn into gray and you can mask a joint high up in the chain and all the joints under the chain will be masked. So in this case, we'll mask the left and the right hand because both are holding something. When you move to the hand rigging step, you'll notice that you are prompt to say that the hand has been masked and that this is what we want. Just jump to the next step and let's preview our rig. As I said before, there are a dozen poses and animations that you can apply to your character for testing here. But you can also upload your character to Actor Core. On the right, you can see this pose offset window. And what this window allows you to do is effectively address posture and the appropriate position of arms and legs, or any joint for that matter, by adjusting the rotation of your joints and eliminating any intersections between body parts. Adjust the Z, Y, and X rotation for any selected joint from the diagram above and adjust the slider accordingly. I remember trying to fix a rig the other day inside Blender, and it proved to be more work than I initially thought. But here, you can just push a slider and you are done. Finally, you can upload your character to Actor Core and quickly share your rig character with other people and get access to the infinite library of 3D animations that Actor Core has to offer. You will get 3500 motions, mocap, and hand heat animations with a wide range of themes and selections for all purposes. And these animations, while not all free, are really, really well made and you can definitely use them for games, films, archives, digital production, interactive projects, training, simulation, digital twins, and much more other stuff. In Actor Core, you can view your uploads and your uploaded characters, and you can inspect your characters and test out various elemental presets through the 3D viewer. And you can easily share your character in social media by hitting the Share Actor button at the bottom. But first, you will have to change the setting from private to shared, and this will give you access to the link, as well as the ability to allow anyone to download your character by ticking the checkbox. You can also share your model to various social media or through email, as well as embed code for your website and QR code, and the latter will give you a link that you can copy or a PNG that you can download. Reading the QR code will allow you to preview the model or any device whether it be a phone or a tablet in the 3D viewer. The embedded option will allow you to create an interactive website by integrating these animated characters within your web pages very easily. And they offer useful samples and tips, and a sandbox page for users to play around and test it out. So if you like what you see, and you would like to use Accurig for your projects, you can click the first link in the description and download the software for free from the Actor Core website. And let us know what you think and your experience within the software in the comment section down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.